I thought I'd tell a little story about this text that hangs on our wall, Exodus 33 and verse 14. Back in 1954, my grandfather had had some surgery and things went quickly south. They didn't know what was wrong, but it looked like he was dying. In fact, they pretty much written his obituary. He was very, very sick in the hospital. Well, it turned out that the doctor, who was an old family friend, had a serious drinking problem and had actually done the surgery while inebriated and had left my grandfather's gallbladder clamped off and he was poisoning himself to death. They didn't know that. But my father was not happy with the arrangement and he said, we've got to get another doctor in here and do a little exploratory and see what's wrong. Just before they took my grandfather in for this surgery, and my grandfather didn't know if he'd survive the surgery or not, my dad went in to visit him. My grandfather had his Bible open at this verse in Exodus. And so he called my father Scotty, and he said, Scotty, read that verse to me. And so my father read the verse, and he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give you rest. No, you missed it, Scotty. Read it again. And so my father put a little more accentuation into the verse, uh, and he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said, no, that's, that's not it. Read it again. And so my father kept trying, accentuating different parts of the verse, and uh, my grandfather was not satisfied. And finally he said, no, Scott, he said, listen, this is how it goes. And he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give you rest. He said, you know, if you said it, it wouldn't mean anything because you can't go into the operating theater with me. But the Lord goes with me all the time. He said it. It's who said it that makes the difference. And so it is with all the promises in the Word of God. The promises are only as good as the person who gave them. And so we have an anchor of the soul. The anchor is only as secure as the ground it's fastened in. And we have our promises rooted in the Word of God. And God cannot lie, and God cannot change. And so this portrait, which has, it's hard for you to see perhaps, but there's, a, there's a, an old sea ship here breaking through the storm. And my grandfather's favorite hymn was a hymn about this very idea, the haven of rest. I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. And so we have this rest in the midst of storms because our anchor is already entered inside the veil into the security of heaven. And so, Christian, as you go through storms in your life, never forget this. The Lord has made this promise to us, not only an Old Testament promise to the children of Israel in Exodus, but when we turn to the New Testament, we have the same promise given to us. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. So that we may boldly say, the Lord's my helper, and I won't fear what man shall do to me. So be encouraged. Remember that God's promises are yea and amen in Christ. He is the amen. He is the that's for sure of all of God's promises. And when we go through hard times, through difficulties and storms, we can always remember that in the storm is someone with us. We can ride through the storms if Christ is in the boat with us and he speaks to our hearts his blessed peace be still. <laughs>